Something that's important to understand about a narcissist is that they are going to be feeding you sad sob stories about their childhood that are oftentimes made up or stolen from somebody else. And if you're wondering who the heck would lie about childhood trauma, the answer is a narcissist, especially a covert narcissist who has to survive off of a perpetual victim narrative. One way to lure you in quickly with a false sense of intimacy is to get you to feel sorry for them. If they can make you feel like, wow, she's been through so much, I can't believe the hardships that he had to endure in order to get where he is, then when they go through with this atrocious behavior during the devaluing stage, like yelling at you, name calling, silent treatment, you are more likely to blame it on this so-called childhood trauma. Well, they're just very disturbed. They weren't raised right. Their dad left them, so now they're trying to leave me. And people are actually shocked when they find out that a lot of these stories are just straight up made up or stolen from somebody who they've dated in the past or who they've been friends with. If you can't confirm through a third party what they're telling you is legitimate and you've caught them in other lies, then you should not trust that that's the motivation for why they're doing the things that they do because it's possible it never happened to begin with. From a young age, a narcissist has crafted a reality around them as a survival tactic that is not the reality that you and I live in. It's one where they're never wrong, they're the best, they don't have to take accountability. Everybody's out to get them for this reason or the other because they're envious and jealous of them. And so they are used to lying. They are used to believing their own narrative. And they will incorporate other people's stories like a shapeshifter if it benefits them and gets them sympathy from other people. And yes, they will lie about the most horrific things you've ever even imagined. They will lie about SA. They will lie about their parents being murdered in front of them. Because the more brutal the story, the more sympathy they get from you, and the more that they can get away with these horrible behaviors while you sit here and justify it because they came from childhood trauma. Well, we all come from childhood trauma of some sort, and it's not an excuse to grow up and be a total jerk. So I'm not saying don't believe everybody's stories about childhood that they told you, but I'm saying if the story is not verifiable, then take it with a grain of salt. And never use people's sob stories as an excuse to stick around if they continue to abuse you on a regular basis. If you would like one-on-one -on -one narcissistic abuse recovery coaching, you can email me. My email's in my bio.